Well, tonight we want to look at a program called Ubuntu Tweak, and that is an application that gives you a GUI interface to tweaking Ubuntu Linux. Uh, very, very cool, and uh, makes things a lot easier to just, you know, find a little little tweaks here and there that uh, you may not necessarily know about Ubuntu that you can tweak. Um, so I'm going to just bring up their website, ubuntu-tweak.com. It's going to bring us right here. So let's just get over to downloads. I'm going to walk you through just getting this actually uh, set up onto your system. Uh, first of all, uh, we've had this talk before where, you know, we want to use a repository if possible. So the first thing that we want to do is just check that website, see if there is a repository available. Uh, so we just scroll down and we see that indeed there are repositories available for this application. So here's for Ubuntu 8.10 Intrepid, for example. There's also one available for Hardy or earlier. So what we want to do is we want to add these repositories to our uh, sources so that we can, you know, use this as a repository. So I'm going to copy these. I'm going to copy one at a time. Go up to System, Administration, Software Sources. Enter your password. And now we're going to go into third-party software. I've already done this, but just to show you how it's done, we're just going to go Add, and you're going to paste, and then add that source. You're going to do that twice. You're going to do that again for this second line here, and it's wrapped to the, second, to the next line on my screen. So just be careful if it has wrapped. Make sure you get that whole thing. Once you've done that, we're going to go into our terminal and type sudo apt-get update, and then sudo apt-get install Ubuntu tweak, which is this line right here. So by running that command in your uh, Linux terminal, you're going to actually be installing that application. That's so very easy. once you've got that application installed, it's called again Ubuntu tweak, <coughs> applications, System Tools, Ubuntu Tweak is going to bring up this nice little window. And I really recommend that you play with this. Like, just kind of go through. It's a, it's a system settings thing. Be careful that you don't change anything that's going to affect your, your ability to use your computer, obviously. But let's play with some of the fun features and, and kind of tweak our system the way that we like. And just go through each thing and just kind of look through, and you'll be able to see that it's very, very easy to use. Computer is just telling us information about our computer. When we click on Applications, it ac actually expands a menu allows us to add and remove things. We can use third-party uh, uh, repositories here that are pre-configured, kind of much in the same way if you've used the perfect Hardy or the perfect Ubuntu, depending on the version, um, it's like a command line version of this. Where this is less automated, this just allows us to install things as long as you know kind of what they are. So for example, you can go into here, uh, add remove under applications, find programs, and this is a very stripped down list, so this is kind of like uh, just what the what the uh, product uh, programmer has decided are kind of good applications to give you access to. Being able to install things like Wine or Terminator like we looked at a couple weeks ago. Uh, and of course, having access to uh, Ubuntu restricted drivers, restricted extras, things like that, which is going to give you support for multimedia codecs and things. Um, so then following through, again, just going through the list, moving down to startup, you can see a couple of different options there. Auto start applications you're familiar with already because we've got that in our sessions uh, panel, but it just kind of puts it all in one place. Desktop, this is where things start to get interesting because we can make things feel a little bit more like our, you know, our, our old system. We can add like a computer button to the desktop. So now our, you know, say my computer, for example, right, is now on the desktop. That's cool. Because by default it's not there. Um, home folder is like your, you know, your, your home folder. Um, adding the trash bin to your desktop. Some people who are used to Windows or Mac kind of miss that, right? So that's right, just yeah. a really, see how easy that was just to, to add that? Mm -hmm. So very, very sleek. Uh, and one thing that I love, look at that, show mounted volumes on, a des on the desktop. If I can be honest, I don't like it when I plug in my flash drive and it shows up on my desktop. I find it really annoying because I have uh -huh. my, my icons kind of laid out the way that I want them. I don't have them auto-arranged. So sometimes that icon will get placed on top of a, another icon or it kind of messes with the, the display of my desktop because I constantly am swapping stuff, especially using something like a Blacks where I'm constantly swapping out hard drives even. Uh, oh, so okay. I find that annoying. So be, to be able to disable the fact that Ubuntu automatically puts icons on your desktop every time you plug in a device or a flash card, that's just a nice little tweak as well. So um, when you mean that it comes up, is that where you see the window and it says, do you want to open the folders and no. view files? or Ubuntu will actually, like you see, for example, uh, here I've got backups on 10.0.0.40 okay. and backups. So those are 
mounted volume. See how after I've turned that off, it disappeared? Oh, okay. Those yeah. are basically, because I've accessed those through my network, because when I run my backup, I access my backup folder that's on that server. Right. Ubuntu, by default, is going to put all mounted items on my desktop, and I don't like that. It clutters it. Make, it. it makes things look cluttered, because right. I often have tons of things mounted on my computer. If you use mm -hmm. external flash drives and external hard drive, plus you've got mounted network shares, and you've got, you know, it can get to be too much. So mm -hmm. that's nice to be able to turn that off. Okay, great. So, yeah. So then just uh, continuing through the list, and if you have any questions or if you have any comments, if you, you've used the application, Carrie is watching the chat room, category5.tv. This is just a quick run through, and I do, again, encourage you to look at Ubuntu Tweak, go through things and just kind of feel, uh, you know, feel the software and see what, uh, what you'd like to do to tweak your, uh, app your computer. Uh, because maybe you want mounted icons on your desktop, whereas I don't, but it just gives you that option. So, uh, Windows, same sort of thing. You know, just go through and see what you'd like to do. This is just general tweaks. Comp is Fusion. This is, again, where things start to get interesting. Imagine that this is your desktop right here. So let's say we set our left-hand corner. That's what this is, left-hand corner, left-hand bottom corner, right-hand top corner, and right-hand bottom corner. Let's say we set our top left corner, which... You know, it's right up here, obviously. Mm. Let's set that to, say, show windows, okay? Now, I'm going to zoom out, and I'm just going to point to that. I'm not going to click. I'm just going to point to it. Watch this. <gasps> Isn't that nice? That was amazing. If I change that to Expo, now I can go like this. That's neat. Just by pointing up to the top left corner. If we change it to show desktop, it's a nice little way, let's say you've got a lot of things open, you go like that, and all of a sudden your desktop is clean. You go again, and it puts everything back. Wow. And then again, last one, widget, which I don't use, so there's nothing there. But that would be like your widget layer, kind of like more like Mac OS. So that's a very mm -hmm. cool feature. So I'm going to leave that at, I like to show windows. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So, And that's every window from every cube face. So when I click on one, double click, it's actually going to take me right to that window. That's great. Isn't that cool? That is cool. So that's just a, another feature of Ubuntu Tweak that is allowing us to basically customize Comp is Fusion. So that's a, a feature of Comp is Fusion, but we don't have to search through the operating system to find where we can set that up. One of the things in Ubuntu that I've always had trouble finding is setting up real solid keyboard shortcuts. Okay. I mean being able to hit a, a control key to bring up GIMP. Or being oh, able to, okay. you know, like there's there's ways to set up shortcuts, but you're very limited as to what you can do with those shortcuts by default in the system. Now, Ubuntu Tweak has made this so easy in that they've given you, a, it looks like, the ability for 12 different command uh, shortcuts. So all we're going to do here... Oh, you make up your own? You make up your own. No way. So let's say I want... Um, okay, so I've double-clicked on Disabled under Command 1. I'm going to put... Control Alt G, all right. And now I'm going to set this. I'm going to click on Command here and go User Bin GIMP. I think that's the right command. So now if I hit Control Alt G, I'm going to minimize that. Control Alt G. There it goes. There's GIMP. Just like that. So finally, there's an easy to use GUI that allows us to do shortcuts that are that simple and that customizable. Right. So it could be anything. It could be a command to uh, enable your second desk, uh, your second monitor. It could be a command to rotate your monitor. Are you listening? <laughs> you got one of those Dell monitors that you can spin that is not actually detecting automatically. You can use XRAND R as a hotkey and be able to automatically rotate your monitor just with the press of a button. So that's very cool. So play with cool. that. That's great. Because I know sometimes, uh, even for me, it can be frustrating when I want to open a new application. You've got to go back down to start and programs, you know, all that. Yeah. So these hotkeys would just bring it up right away. Yeah, there's applications that you use all the time. For me, it's like uh, Firefox. Right. Evolution for email, or it could be uh, whatever email application you use. You mm -hmm. know, and not every keyboard has, you know, all the fancy multimedia keys. Like my keyboard here, I've got volume control. That's about it. Um, so having those hotkeys, being able to do those is pretty nice. But not just the GUI stuff. Like I say, it can be terminal applications. It can be anything. Play around with it. It's Ubuntu Tweak, and it's available at ubuntu tweak dot com and again it is available in a repository through that website so just follow the instructions under downloads